Hey everyone, this is Simon from Momentum. Today I just want to give you a quick overview of how to use a GMT watch with a 24-hour scale on the bezel. Uh, so uh, really the procedure is pretty simple. If you look at the watch, you will see there is a red arrow GMT hand. On our production model of this Sequartz 30 GMT, uh, the red GMT hand is actually going to be a bit longer and go out to the middle of these hour indexes. But you have a GMT hand that moves once around the face in 24 hours. And on the outer bezel, you have a 24 hour military style time uh, scale uh, where the <coughs> uh, sorry the arrow index marker represents 2400 hours or midnight and then um, you'll see that the blue side of the bezel between 1600 and uh, 0600 or 6 a.m in the morning is the nighttime and the red side from 0600 or 6 a.m to 1800 6 p.m represents the the daytime so the, the way I do this basically is in two steps. First, I want to set everything, the main hands for the local time and the GMT time to midnight. So um, what I do is I unscrew the crown and you'll see if I unscrew the crown like this, I pull it out all the way and I'm going to move the hands forward and I'm going to be watching for the date to jump, which tells me I'm midnight instead of midday. So if I come up here to 12, you'll see the date is just starting to change and bang, it's changed. So I know I'm now on midnight. And then what I want to do is I want to set my GMT time as well. So I, I find it easier to get to the intermediate position on the ground by pushing it in and then pulling it out one click for the intermediate quick set position. And if I turn it clockwise away from me, that sets the date. So it doesn't really matter what date we set it to now, but that sets the date on the quick set. When I turn it the other way away from me, it will move the GMT hand. So I move the GMT hand around the face and I want to make sure that that is also lined up at 12. Let's just make sure I've got my hands also right at midnight and the GMT hand uh, almost at midnight. So let's just turn that, oops, went a bit too far. But so we point that at midnight. So now I've got my hands and the GMT time at midnight. So basically that is all set. Um, and uh, then what I would do is I take my index marker and on the bezel and line it up at midnight too. And if I want to get Greenwich Mean Time or UK time, I know that they're eight hours ahead of us. So there's an eight hour time difference. So all I do is from that index marker, you see these markers like 100, uh, 200, uh, 300, 400 hours. So uh, I move the bezel eight hours ahead. So what I want to do is have the 0800, and you'll see the eight just coming up at the top lined up exactly at midnight. So if I put the eight hour time difference, I just turn the bezel so eight lines up at midnight. Good, so now that that is set for Greenwich Mean Time, uh, if I pull the crown out all the way and let's say I set my, oops, sorry, I'm losing my watch on the stand here. Uh, I wanna set my local time so that the local time is say, for example, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So I'm going to turn, I'm at midnight. I have to turn once completely around the face of the watch and I'm coming to midday. And now 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m. or 1500 hours. So what time is it going to be in London or Greenwich Mean Time? And I just look here at that red um, GMT hand. I'm going to push in the crown so the watch is ticking. And I'm going to screw in the bezel, the crown to make it nice and watertight. So now I've set the eight hour time difference on the bezel up here by setting the eight at 12 o'clock. And my GMT hand is pointing down here between the 2200 hours and the 2300 hours. 
um, sorry, 2200 and 2400 hours. So this dot represents 2300 hours or 11 p.m. So I know that the time in London is 2300 hours or 11 p.m. and the time in Vancouver is 3 p.m. So yeah, I hope that helps. If uh, I wanted to change it so I can read on the bezel the time, say, in Germany, which is nine hours time difference, then all I would have to do is turn the bezel and line up the nine, the little dot between eight and 10, be exactly on 12. And now it points and says, okay, if it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon in Vancouver, I look at my GMT hand and it is pointing at the, uh, 1200, uh, sorry, 2400 hours, the index marker, which is midnight. So it's midnight in Germany if it is 3 p.m. here in Vancouver. Perfect. So uh, I hope that quick overview will help you set your uh, GMT uh, with 24 hour bezel and use it to track a second time zone. Thanks a million. Cheers.